Young people are bearing the brunt of the COVID-19 pandemic. Closed schools, stretched health services, interrupted counseling and mental health support, isolation, and being cut off from friends. This situation is particularly dire for young people who are on the move or in conflicts. But amidst the darkness, we are also seeing inspiring signs of hope. We're seeing young people standing up for their friends, families, and communities, and reaching out in new and innovative ways. And we've seen a global recognition that we need to support children and young people through and beyond this challenging time. For example, at UNICEF, We've launched the Reimagine Education Initiative to end the learning crisis and eradicate the digital divide. We want every child and young person, 3.5 billion by 2030, to be able to access world-class digital learning and training to prepare them for the future. This includes connecting every school and every young person in every community to the internet and it includes working side by side with young people themselves to produce the content that is relevant to them. We are also part of Generation Unlimited Partnership, working with public and private partners and with young people to identify and scale up solutions to help them gain the skills they need for the world of work. Because a post-COVID world needs to be a better world for young people, a world in which we all focus on supporting them as they build a better future for themselves and for all of us. To make this happen, we need to work with youth networks and organizations like Big Six to co-create local and global solutions. We need to work with the public and private sectors to provide more opportunities for young people to build their skills for the future. And we need to pay special attention to the needs of the most vulnerable young people, including girls and refugees, migrants, and young people with disabilities. You can count on UNICEF's support for the global youth mobilization. Let's reimagine a better future for young people everywhere.